my name is Woody Hastings. I'm a, a research professor of molecular and cellular biology at Harvard University in Cambridge. I want to talk to you today, very briefly, about a, 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 a hypothesis that was really advanced in the 1960s, about, uh, ten, about 50 years ago. Um, at the time, uh, it was recognized for the first time that A, the Earth was completely anaerobic at its outset, and that B, uh, 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 it was a, uh, it was some years, uh, a, a billion years at least, before life began. But it began without oxygen, and this is the story of oxygen uh, being produced for the first time in the, uh, the Earth's atmosphere, and its increase in amount over time. This was first really uh, discovered in the, in the 1960s. Okay, the, uh, the uh, idea that I want to push or pre present is that the oxygen re <coughs> removal it was a selection factor in the origin of luciferases. Not just one luciferase, but many luciferases. There are many, many luciferases we don't know how many different luciferases. Perhaps there are of the order of 30 or 40 that have been partially identified. Now, bioluminescence occurs everywhere in the oceans. Hypothesis that, that it arose many times in evolution, uh, selected for, for the ability to remove oxygen, is what we want to present. Different groups of, of bioluminescent organisms originated uh, and evolved independently, <coughs> we believe. Present-day functions use the light for functional purposes, or use the light, and uh, uh, therefore the light is the select selection factor. Uh, <coughs> a few additional points. Uh, all use oxygen in, react in the reaction mechanism, producing light. And, but the remarkable thing is that they're different in the different organisms. And as I say, there may be as 30 still a lot, still extant today. Uh, all other aspects of the reaction differ. The genes, for, for example, the proteins, the substrates, and the functions. The original function, we hypothesize, was only uh, oxygen removal. Uh, uh, light emission was, a, was a, pro a byproduct of the reaction. For, uh, for the present day bioluminescent systems, selection is for light emission. Uh, as I said before, origin, they originated independently in evolution uh, as, as many as 30 different times. Uh, now, what about the Earth? Here are the numbers uh, in, uh, uh, written out. Uh, Earth was formed 4.5 billion years ago. Life originated about 3.5 of uh, 3.4 billion years ago, anaerobically, no oxygen. Photosynthesis, uh, oxygenic photosynthesis, produced oxygen for the first time. Uh, uh, and uh, this was very, uh, a very toxic substance. Now our, th our theory, the theory I'm pushing, is that bacteria evolve bioluminescence as a way to protect the cells by removing oxygen. And that uh, the different chemistries of each event, that there were many different events, and each was different, uh, uh, thus bioluminescence is an early antioxidant. Now here's a graph taken from the work of, of uh, uh, H. Uh, Holland and others that uh, more or less uh, tells us what the timeline is of oxygen, uh, starting with uh, 3.5 uh, 
uh, eight years ago, a billion years ago, and we see the first uh, life of, uh, was anaerobic, uh, and at, at about 2.5 billion years ago, oxygen appears for the first time. Uh, and uh, it is at that time that I believe that, uh, that uh, bioluminescence evolved and that all bioluminescence today uh, is, uh, and we can't prove that, uh, all bioluminescence today derives from, from evolutionary events, origin events that occurred at this time. Uh, there's not much evidence, but we have a little bit of evidence. Before the 1960s, when I did my uh, doctoral thesis research, I studied the effect of oxygen concentration on bacterial bioluminescence. And you see here that it's extremely low. I needn't give you the details except to sh show that the, uh, what we could, would call the KM is of the order of uh, 10 to the minus 6 molar, something very low c compared to today's oxygen concentration. This is bacteria. And many people are willing to believe that bacteria could do it. They're scarcely believed. Believe I should also say that we did this experiment with the luciferase isolated from cells. So it's not a cellular phenomenon. It's actually the luciferase that has the affinity uh, uh, for the very low oxygen. Uh, uh, many people believe that are willing to believe that bacteria could could evolve. Uh, by, uh, could have evolved the bioluminescence, but they are scarcely uh, willing to think of, of fireflies. But here's a firefly oxygen. This is a firefly luciferase, beetle luciferase, and you see that the data go down to, to oxygen concentrations that are uh, 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 clearly uh, 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 orders of magnitude below that uh, present uh, in, in the atmosphere today. Uh, there are cases uh, in which the bioluminescence oxygen affinity is less. And I show one of them, uh, that is fungi. Uh, <coughs> and we don't know uh, why, why this would change, but here's the fungal uh, affinity curve. Uh, and it has a PM, if you will, of about 10 to the minus 4 molar uh, oxygen. So uh, this uh, summarizes the data that's really available. There's, there's some other data, but uh, it is a, an area uh, that would explain the anomaly, uh, anomalous uh, feature of bioluminescence, namely that the genes for it, firefly luciferase is nowhere near uh, uh, <coughs> bacterial luciferase, nor uh, uh, aquaria luciferase, or any of the other. None of the, so many have been discovered, about five now, uh, that, uh, that, that are completely different, that we believe they all may be different in a way. And uh, this leads to a very interesting uh, un understanding, if it's correct, of the uh, origin of genes, of the origin of genes themselves. Thank you very much.